Hello. Honey, what's, what's, what's Fred Durf doing in our shower? Oh, he's just here to remind you that Comedy Central is back. Oh. Wobble. I am Wobble and it's good to be back with you here on Wobble. J this just in is no longer called Wobble. It's no longer called Wobble. Yes, uh, we can go back to the original name which was Comedy Central News. Oh good, this, so, this whole Wobble thing was getting very confusing over the last while. That was exactly why they got rid of it, was because it is so confusing. So, I'm Fred Durf, and welcome to Comedy Central News. Yes, we're back on the air. I, of course, am Ruben Zella. It's great to be back. KYTV was wonderful in giving us the chance to come back on the air here to give you more of what you want, the news from around the Federation and beyond. Isn't that right, Fred? Yes, definitely beyond. Definitely beyond anything you've ever seen anyway. So let's start off with our fast-breaking news stories. The United Federation country of flying saucer dwellers, well, what can we say about those goofy people and their flying saucers? Their pranks, abductions and things, they've gone up 10% in the last three months. People are reporting seeing weird things hovering over them at night and then flying away just as they get ready to snap the picture. Oh, those jokers think they're so funny, but one day we'll catch them. One day, one of our cameras will be there, mark my words, and we'll get them. That's what I have to say about that. Well, I do like a, a good abduction once in a while. How about you? Well, they've never found me yet, thankfully, and I'm quite glad about it. Oh, you just want to have the, one of those anti-abduction helmets you wear at night before you go to bed, eh? Yes, yes, it's made of a macaroni strainer with uh, uh, foil over it. it. It works very well. And they look rather ridiculous, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they do. So what have you got to tell us about yours? Fast-breaking news story. My fast-breaking news story. Cats. What do we know about cats? Well, there is a scientist who seems to think that we can get electricity from cats. Harness electricity from cats, how's that work? Well, you see, you stroke the cat and you build up a charge. And once the charge is finished, the then you have the electricity. Okay, but suppose it was like, you know, the president of Kevin, he's got his flying DeLorean, right? And he's 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. That's going to be an awful lot of cats strapped in the back of that DeLorean. Yes, but you see, you can take, take your cat and then you use a converter to convert the, the small amount of electricity into a large amount of electricity so you could have your 1.21 gigawatts. And eat them too? And eat them too. <laughs> How about that? Well, three new game shows were recently advertised coming out very soon from the country of game show addicts. These people are great with game shows. They'll turn anything into a game show. You can walk down the sidewalk and they'd come up with a game show for that but they've got three new ones that I think will be very good. The Price is Irrelevant is the first one. This one I, I really like. It's an all-board game show uh, hosted by Six of Eight, and I think he was really, really good in that other show he did. I, I can't remember what it was. Truth or Assimilation, perhaps? I can't remember. But anyway, really, really, really good show. I like him a lot. Uh, the $25,000 Parallelogram makes its debut next week with Dick Fox, and you know he's always been good. He, he's really good. I like his Rocket New Year's Eve program. And my new favorite one, I think I'm going to have to watch this one. Let's make a sandwich. That's going to be that's going to be quite good. I just wonder how many episodes they'll be able to do before they run out of sandwich Perhaps ideas. Perhaps they could uh, have you on uh, when they make the Reuben. Ah, yes, that, that, that would be a very good idea. I didn't think of that. He's a smart man. So what else have you got for us, Fred? Cloning is down 10%. Uh, it's not as popular as it was once before, and uh, so, you know, 
uh, I guess everybody wants to be an individual and be different, and uh, I, don't, I don't know why you wouldn't want to look like me. Which means that you will be seeing a lot less of us on Comedy Central News and a lot more other people. So stay tuned for that. We actually have well, people that don't look like us. Go figure. And, oh, wait. This, this just in. Hockey update time, yes? Everyone's been talking about the Ellie Nelkis Cup. Best cup in hockey. Lots of action today. The Gavikstan Bombers versus the Dog River River Dogs. And, well, it was a great game. It was tied at three. They went to overtime for two periods, two extra overtime periods. And just as everyone was thinking they'd either fall asleep or go home, Brent Leroy from Dog River scores the game-winning goal. Beautiful goal. We wish we had some video, but it just happened. We'll try to get some for you later, but we can't guarantee it. But he does win the Elinokas Cup for Dog River, and <laughs> they've been the best team all year. I think they really deserve it. Yes, they've done very well. Oh, well, I was, guess I'm not going to win any money. I was betting on the Gavikstan bombs, actually. Oh, well. And another... What the hell are you wearing? The American glasses. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember, uh, but this was that was ten years ago, Fred. I, I think they're a little bit uh, out of style now, yes? Everything old is new again. We have discovered that the American glasses have taken off once again as the true fashion statement of the century on all planets everywhere. Well, whatever you say, Fred. <laughs> well, coming this up... This is a true fashion statement. Can't you see? And at night, everyone looks like this. You've got them on upside down, you idiot. Yeah. Ugh. Coming up after the break, Fred managed to send one of our roving reporters out to get an interview with the president of Dog River, Saskatchewan. You're not going to want to miss that. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this here on Comedy Central News. And thin and young and lovely, the gal from Ipanema goes walking and when she passes, each one she... We now go to Kelly Smart live on location in Dog River, Saskatchewan, where he's interviewing the president. Hello, Kelly. I'm all the way over here, Dog River, Saskatchewan, with Comedy Bloody Central News. I'm confused. That doesn't really look like the president. No, no, I'm here with the president. Is that right? Stop it. Stop it. Oh, come on, so stop you, bloody twat. As you can see, the president's a man of few words. Have you been drinking? No, I wasn't. What's it to you, Mr. Death? Sitting on your desk. Ooh, look at me. I'm Fred Bloody Dirk. Aren't I a laugh? Is that right? Stop it. Stop it. Are you in Dog River? Can you even hear me? Can you, can you understand what I'm saying? Are you in Dog River? I've got a question for you, dear. How many fingers am I holding on? Uh, that would be one. We apologize for that. Uh, as, you know, Kelly Smart is brand new. He was not in Dog River, nor was he uh, interviewing the president. In fact, he was just interviewing a stop sign named Stoppy. Stoppy. And, uh, anyway. I think he was, a, I think he had a little bit too much to drink. Just, just a wee bit too much, though. He definitely seemed inebriated. Mm. Uh, we're, we're going to be going to a commercial break very soon. And right after we come back, uh, Ruben here will have an interview. Yes, our reporter Dirk Dingle went out in search of a great archaeological discovery. And he's found one in West Side, Vancouver. You're not going to want to miss this. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this on Comedy Central News. Welcome back to Comedy Central News. We've got our roving reporter Dirk Dingle out in Westside, Vancouver, where an incredible archaeological discovery has been made. Dirk, what, what have you found there? Well, 
Ruben, it's actually a truly amazing discovery. The first pyramid ever constructed in Westside, Vancouver, built over 30,000 years ago by the ancient West Vancouver Pharaoh of Canuck. As you can see, it's a very unusual, almost crystalline structure, but it's in pristine shape and condition. It's nothing like it has ever been found before. Uh, hold on a minute, Dirk. There's no pyramids in, in Vancouver. Well, what the hell is that? That's the West Side Vancouver Public Library, you idiot. It was built 15 to 20 years ago. 15 or 20,000 years ago, you idiot. I'm 30. I was there when they built the damn thing. Explain that. Because you're lying about your age. It's a library. It's a repository of ancient knowledge. The books inside and the scrolls and all the documents could teach us amazing things about the past. Let me guess, you haven't been inside yet, have you? Not as such, no. Well, never mind. We'll be back later. I'll try to pick it up later on in the show. Thanks anyways, Dirk. Screw you, Reuben. Well, screw him too. I guess he doesn't want to have a job for very long, does he? It's a problem with these non-clone reporters that we have here. Yes, apparently they seem to think that they know it all or something like that. Well, that's... We struck out twice and, uh, well, they're all we've got. I'm sorry at the moment. We'll be back right after this. We've got some footage you're not going to want to miss. Coming up after this, we go live to the grand finale finish of the 15-year car race. Right after this on Comedy Central News. Exciting. Very. And welcome back to Comedy Central News. I'm, I'm Fred Duff. Yes, he is, and I'm Ruben Zeller. And as promised, we have the finale of that car race. These people have been in there for 15 years. They've been away from their friends, their families, their children, everything. And it's been a wonderful race. We've been keeping tabs on it. They've been moving very, very slow, but they're getting it done. 15-year race. Here's the end. We're going to go live. This is going to be awesome. Check this out. That was exciting. That's what I call a finish. The way that PT Cruiser just passed that smart car with just that much left to go. It was awesome. I really like that car racing. <laughs> oh, the car racing is a lot of fun. And now we won't watch that in slow motion because now we really don't have enough time. It would take us 30 years to watch it. But I have to say, you know, what's interesting about this car race was they had PT Cruisers. They had smart cars. They had Volkswagen Beetles. Yeah, cars that they didn't even have 15 years ago. I know, in 1991, the cars weren't even there for like another eight or nine years. How did they do that? It's called time travel. Ah, yes, they got the president of Canada involved on that one. That's right. And we're, we're going to try to get a, see if we can get, a, uh, get an interview with the winner here. Yes, yes, we've got an interview with the winner, the driver of the PT Cruiser. Uh, we don't even know his name. He's been in there for 15 years, after all. Uh, we're going to go down live. Uh, yes, go ahead. Excuse me, sir. Yes. We're, we're with uh, CSN uh, Comedy Central News, and we couldn't help but uh, we've been following this story for 15 years. I mean, this is a 15-year car race, and you're the winner. I mean, congratulations. That's awesome. How come you're the only camera? I mean, I've been, I just went a 15-year car race. And you're the only media guy here. What, what, what gives? I, I don't know. Maybe the rest of them forgot that it ended today. I don't know. But we've been following this for 15 years. We think this is awesome. Congratulations on winning. And how are you, how, how, how you feeling right now, knowing that you've just won the longest car race in, in, in history? Uh, hungry, really stinky, really gunky. It's just disgusting. You should see the inside of the car. Uh, I'm going to have to have it professionally clean. Everything. It's just disgusting. It's gross. So you've been away from like you know society for 15 years and friends and family and stuff. That's got to take a toll on you when you're behind the wheel. Yeah, I haven't uh, haven't spoken to anybody. To, uh, we're not allowed to have vid phones in the car or anything. And you know, I had a two-year-old kid when I when I went in there. It's probably like 16, 17 years old by now. And who knows what's going to happen with uh, with my marriage situation and all that. 
Uh, my, my big question though is, what, what, what did you win? I mean, you know, you sit behind the wheel for 15 years driving that slow, you know, uh, what, what's the grand prize? I get to keep my car. That's a pretty nice car. It's not as good as my Tonka truck, but it's still pretty good. Well, I guess I'll let you get showered because you probably, well, yeah, you definitely need one of those. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well, congratulations Thanks. again. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Well, what a great guy. He sounds like he's he sounds like he's had a lot of fun. He's got a 17-year-old son now that he hasn't seen in 15 years. They grow up so fast, don't they? Yes, he seemed, he seemed with it, didn't he? After all that time alone in a car. After, after that I think I would have gone bonkers. I know. I would have gone squirrely friggin' mad. But anyway, before we go, on our show today, one more thing I'd like to share with you. Um, this is a little something that we do from time to time here on Comedy Central News. It's, um, it's called Portraits. It's where we, we, we capture something absolutely incredible in, in still frame for you to see. And it, it, it always baffles me it's when we do these. one of my these. favorite, yeah. favorite It baffles segments. me because there's so much majestic things out there to capture that we'll be able to capture things for you for a long time to come. Today, um, and by the way, if you have any suggestions, please do send them in. If you have any tapes or anything like that, send them in. We'd love to show them as portraits on the air. Today, though, it was my personal choice. I like this one. Portrait of a cactus. And now, here it is. For you. Hello, I'm Mr. Cactus. How are you today? And there you have it. Portrait of a cactus. I found that to be very, very moving. Incredibly moving. Cacti are so wonderful. Especially when they're made of rubber wearing sunglasses. Sunglasses with a brilliant touch. Yes. And that's all the time we have for today here on Comedy Central News. We hope you'll come back next time. We'll be here. Hope I'm we'll be too. Fred Durf. Yes, he is. And I'm Ruben Zeller saying so long. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.